Then we were in for a treat. A fox turned up chasing ground squirrels. These rodents are everywhere and foxes love them. They're red foxes here, the same as the ones in Europe. Like the bears, with no adverse human contact, they seem oblivious to people and it was great to watch him hunt. He did draw the attention of our favourite neighbourhood bear, who's after the same ground squirrel, but using a different technique. Ground squirrels can live as much as 10 feet underground. It seems a lot of effort to dig like that for such a small meal. But maybe it makes a change from salmon at this time of year. All this commotion now seems to have drawn in some other bears around the camp. I must admit it's quite nerve-wracking trying to keep your eye on this lot. I uh, know what's quite interesting is the last sort of seven days we've been struggling to get bear stuff and it seemed like we'd scared them all off and slowly they'd gained confidence and suddenly we've got four within 100 metres. It's like they've surrounded us. Any of these the ones that have been around before? Yes, the one that's in the river right now is our camp bear. She's the one that's getting yeah. very relaxed. The female, the five-year-old female. Yeah. So um, how should we play this? Because obviously we want to go and shoot that. But well, now we the definitely tents... need to have someone in camp. Yeah. The whole day carried on like this. It's extraordinary to think that the only other humans these guys see are hunters. Perhaps they're beginning to understand that we're not a threat to them. Then what's happened, a bear came in rather close this evening to the uh, food tent and Buck is uh, rather worried that maybe tonight it's going to have a go at the food. So him and Rick are going to go and sleep over there tonight. The only slightly worrying thing is, is he set off in the dark in totally the wrong direction. He's slightly deaf. We've been trying to shout to him and he's heading off towards the volcano. So we're not sure he's even going to make it back to the camp tonight, <laughs> back to the tent. But um, we'll find out what happens in the morning. We'll give uh, Rick a buzz on the radio in 10 minutes if he's there. But um, it's a bit worrying really, isn't it?